Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey. Work smarter where you want. This is learning at its most fun. Welcome uh, to another Best Practices Partner webinar. Uh, my name is Jonathan Maddock. I'm a trainer here at Redtail Technology. Um, this week's partner is Right Capital. They're a financial planning software, provides a number of great features, and I definitely don't want to sell them short, um, but we're going to hear a lot about it today. But one of the good things they have, they have you know, retirement planning, they have a client portal, and I honestly will say this, this is my personal favorite part about Right Capital is their user uh, user experience and their UI is amazing. So, um, you know, with me today, I have uh, Joe Cowling. Um, Joe has a number of years in the fintech. Um, prior to working at Right Capital, uh, he was a solutions consultant at Risklize, where he helped advisors adopt new technology. And now he is the managing director of partnerships. So welcome, Joe. Thank you for uh, joining me today. Oh, it's great to be here, Jonathan. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, I, I believe Joe is going to first uh, go ahead and, and, and show us how to turn on the integration because, uh, you know, as we're talking through some of the, uh, the, the great pieces of information, we want to make sure that we can, you know, get it all set up. Um, so, Joe, do you want to go ahead and take it away? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and share my screen here uh, with everyone. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up some slides and uh, that way everyone um, we can walk through the steps on that. So as Jonathan mentioned, we're a proud partner of Redtail. I uh, love working with Redtail's uh, CRM. We do have an integration, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. We'll also uh, take this call to uh, walk through a very high level uh, walk through of Right Capitals. For those of you that have never seen us before, uh, we do highly encourage uh, you to schedule a demo with us if you'd like. Uh, to learn more detail and, and have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, demo with us. So usually 30 to 45 minutes long. Easiest way to do that is just go to rightcapital.com and right there on the home page, you'll see a place to schedule a demo and you can grab a time right there and then and uh, we'll call you and do a screen share, walk you through whatever you want to see. We also do a uh, two-week free trial, uh, usually following that as well. So uh, definitely, uh, if you're interested uh, after today, uh, please, um, you know, go ahead and schedule a demo with us. Now, if you're already using Right Capital and Redtail and you're here to see the parts of the integration, we're gonna hit that right at the, the offset here. And we're gonna show you the steps on that, show you exactly what it does. And uh, if you have additional questions or support needs, of course, inside of Right Capital, uh, the easiest way to get a hold of us is through the chat function. Just type in your questions there. Or if you would like us to call you, one of our support reps, to talk through it, we can do that as well. Just type in there that you'd like uh, to schedule a support call or a coaching call, and uh, we'll, we'll be happy to help you through that uh, on the phone as well. So with that being said, uh, real quickly, just want to give you everybody a, just a quick reminder of who we are and what we do. Uh, we're really known for, just as Jonathan said, being a very robust but easy to use financial planning tool. Uh, really awesome UX, which we'll see here in just a little bit. Our motto is more planning and less time uh, through innovation. And uh, if you're doing something quick and dirty, you actually can do a plan in 10 minutes. If you want to do a more comprehensive or holistic plan, take you a bit longer, but uh, uh, that's one of the keys to our tools. We're very flexible. Uh, we don't put you in a box. Uh, we have a very modular design. So it really allows you to focus on the items and the elements that you need to focus on. And uh, that's really our goal. So let's talk about the Redtail integration. Um, as you can see here on the slide, uh, the contact information from Redtail will sync into Right Capital. Um, that includes the names, the date of birth. And at this time, we don't retrieve any type of account information. If you are using something like TD or using something like uh, Allbridge or something like that, we encourage at this point to go ahead and integrate uh, both. All right, so you've got the retail contact information coming in, and then if you need that account information, we have other integrations for that as well. Uh, it is our goal to continue to enhance uh, this particular uh, integration, uh, which uh, we do have grand plans to do so. Um, so definitely keep your eyes and ears open for that. Uh, but at this point, what, uh, what you're getting is the actual contact information, which will save some time on that data entry uh, process. So how do we actually set this up? So what you're gonna do 
is you're going to go to your advisor portal uh, inside of Right Capital. So obviously you're logged into Right Capital. Um, you're going to go to Advisor Portal, then Integrations, and then Redtail. We'll then need your login credentials for Redtail, and then just click Connect. And it's really that simple. If you, once again, if you run into any type of issues, or if you like someone uh, to walk through step by step, we can do that as well. Uh, just uh, start out that conversation through our chat function uh, when you're logged into Right Capital. So once the integration is set up. Um, you know, you're going to want to import those contacts in from Redtail. So to add a contact from Redtail, you're simply going to uh, select import. All right. And then uh, a search box will be on screen after uh, the import button. So we'll go ahead and get to that. So you're going to click on the search box. You're going to type in a portion of the name of the client that you want to import and hit enter. And or you can click on search and it will import that client. So once again, you're going to search for the client. Once again, inside of Right Capital, um, it's going to search that uh, uh, to import it in from Redtail. And then once you get uh, your client set up there, you can go ahead and select import. So once you select import, the client information um, and all the information for their family, their household will populate in the client list in the advisor portal uh, inside of Right Capital. So it's really that simple. It's you know step one, go ahead and get that integration actually set up. Through your Redtail credentials, and then once the integration is officially set up, you want to go ahead and, and search your clients, select your clients, bring those in directly from uh, Redtail. Um, so updating client information. Once you've got them all set up, maybe you want to go ahead and uh, you know do a fresh sync. Very easy to do that. Once again, you're going to go to your advisor portal, go to integrations, and then Redtail, and then you've got a couple of options. Either uh, first you can click on the sync button to update all clients, or you can click on import to access all the clients that have been imported uh, from Redtail, and then choose to sync individual clients. So if you just want to sync everyone, you can. If you just want to do individual clients, um, then you can just click on the import uh, to access just certain clients. Uh, one thing to note, um, you know, just as a as a quick point here, uh, if you wish to remove the connection to Redtail, you can just click disconnect. Uh, the client's information will remain still in Right Capital. For some reason, you have to do that, maybe do a reset or something like that. Um, and then to completely delete information from Right Capital, you're going to delete the entire client by selecting client's name in the client list and then clicking on the X that shows next to their name. Now, please do not click that uh, if you do not want to remove their information uh, from the system. So that's, that's it. Uh, it's really that simple, very quick, very easy. If you're already familiar with Right Capital, You'll know where these different screens are. Uh, we also have a really good help section. Um, it's uh, it's uh, at uh, help.rightcapital.com. And uh, in the search bar there, when you're on that website, uh, that is our help section. You can just type in Redtail, and we'll have step-by-step -step instructions there for you as well. And then once again, you can chat in to one of our support uh, specialists, and uh, they can walk you through some items um, as well. So. At this portion uh, of the demo, and as Jonathan mentioned, you know, one of the purposes of the webinar as well is to introduce Right Capital for those of you that maybe you've heard about us, uh, you've heard, you know, that we're, you know, the new kid on the block, we're growing really, really fast, uh, quite possibly the fastest growing tool in the financial planning space at this point. Um, and we are in the news uh, in, in a lot of different places. So you're like, okay, what's up with Right Capital? What exactly are these? these people doing over there, uh, we definitely want to take a few minutes, give you a very quick high level overview of the software. And then we highly encourage you, if you're still interested, go ahead and schedule a demo with us, take advantage of that two week trial um, as well. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, just show you um, a quick, uh, give me a second here, quick set of slides here. And uh, I'll pull it up here. All right, folks, I had it, and then it disappeared on me. There we go. Found it. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up, and I want to give everybody just a really quick overview, background of our software and our company. Uh, for those of you that use Right Capital, maybe there's some things that uh, you didn't know uh, about the history of our company, and we'll, we'll cover that very, very quickly. We won't spend a whole lot of time on that. Uh, but we are a web-based financial planning tool. Uh, we do a lot of different things, but some of the main ones are uh, budget and debt planning, retirement planning. Uh, account aggregation. Uh, we use a company called Yodly to do that. 
Uh, we have a client portal. Uh, we do tax efficient distribution, which is uh, really unique to us. Social security optimization, uh, student uh, loan planning as well. Uh, we'll, show, we'll take a quick look at that today. And uh, so a lot of really unique things um, that we're doing. As I mentioned before, we're growing at a rapid rate. Uh, we're using the top three tools that uh, firms shop for now when it comes to financial planning software. And we're really known for having a rigorous and robust calculation engine that generates results very, very quickly and very easily uh, in, in a manner that uh, is client friendly and is also uh, very easy to use and adopt. So we've won a lot of different awards. We won't spend too much time on that, but uh, we, uh, we continue to, to reach high marks when it comes to the client satisfaction. And we'll show one more slide. Uh, we get this question all the time, what makes you different than a lot of the other financial planning tools that are out there? As I mentioned before, very flexible. Uh, we can do both cash flow and goals-based planning. We like to say you can determine the plan based on the client's needs, not what the software can and cannot do. We're uh, priced really, really well for what we do. Um, in many, many cases, uh, depending on the cash flow planning tool, we can be a third of the price, sometimes half of the price, uh, depending on the plan that you're on. In many cases, we're at 90 plus percent on the features, sometimes 95 percent on the different features. And one thing that we've really put a focal point on is to make sure that we have the items that you know, the majority of firms are needing out there. Now, there might be some outlier items that we don't do. We highly recommend, sure, you know, go ahead and find what you need. But at the same time, I feel like that a lot of software out there is, is loaded with a lot of things that um, firms never actually use. So we try to really uh, focus on the items that are highly relevant and, uh, once again, uh, puts us in a really good position um, on, on price. And then finally, after we got all the nuts and bolts of financial planning down, we went out and started asking firms, what is not out there that you'd like to see, that you'd like to start showing your clients, illustrating to your clients that'll help you in those meetings, help you in your financial planning, et cetera. One of the big items that kept on coming up was tax efficient distribution and uh, give us a way um, you know, to show our clients how we're saving them money uh, through that withdrawal stage. And we'll actually take a look at that. Social security optimization was another one. Uh, in the last few months, we've added, in the last six months, we've added um, something called a, a student loan module, which I'll show you that as well. It's quite popular um, as well. So that being said, we're going to do that really fast, really quick, high-level overview. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and open up Tom Hanks here. Like I said, we won't spend too much time on this. Uh, we'll do about a 10 or so minute overview of some different features. And if there are things that you have questions about, feel free to ask about that. But in many cases, what we do recommend is if you'd like to see things uh, in much more detail and have specific uh, questions related to your practice, that's perfect for a one-on-one -on -one demo. Once again, the easiest way to do that is just go to rightcapital.com and uh, just click on the uh, schedule a demo button and uh, grab a time that works for you. So that being said, what I want to do is I want to start on the retirement tab. And what we're looking at right here is the output stage, right? This is with all the data already in. To get the data, we use a six-step process, which I'll show you here in just a little bit. But I want to start with the screen that if you picture yourself walking in, a client walks into your office, um, this is where most firms will, will start, especially if you have a client within 10 years of retirement, something like that. Um, this is a very, very popular screen. Uh, to start with, many firms like to put this up on the big screen or maybe pull their monitor around and walk through these illustrations with the client. It just makes the conversation much, much easier. It also allows you to talk about different options, different scenarios, um, much, much easier as well. So we're going to start with the retirement tab. And as I mentioned before, we're, we're built in a very modular way. So it doesn't box you in, doesn't ha say you have to start with this step first. If you want to jump into a retirement conversation, you can. If you've got a younger client, and you want to start with, let's say, uh, maybe a budgeting situation, you can do that. Just go to dashboard, go to budget, start you know, working on a custom budget for that particular client. Maybe you're working down some debt for that client. You can start there as well. Or maybe you're trying to help them with their student loans. You can do that here as well um, underneath the dashboard. Once again, we're going to go back underneath that retirement umbrella. And as you can see, very fast, very easy to use, very well organized. So retirement analysis. You look on the right here, this is our current plan. This is all the data that we have coming in, whether it's from Redtail, or TD, or Albridge, or Pershing, or whatever the case may be. 
and all of that streaming in. This is also uh, the daily stream in coming in from Yodley, right? So our most popular plan has that account aggregation coming in uh, from Yodley. So the client maybe has put in their bank accounts or uh, their outside accounts or the credit cards or a myriad of different things. All of that stuff is coming in on a nightly basis. And once again, that is our current plan. Right now we're at 79%. Uh, if I open up this little green button, action items, here's where we can start talking about the different variables, the different options that they may have to up this percentage. And as you can see, I've already played around with it a little bit. We're over here at 94%. Uh, we're going to play around with it a little bit more. So let's uh, let's move them. Let's even move it to, uh, let's do this. Let's uh, take them down to a more balanced portfolio. And uh, let's go ahead and pull this down to even a year earlier. Actually, you know what, let's just leave it at 63, and then I want to show you what this looks like on a different portfolio. So we'll click Refresh. It's going to go ahead and calculate that. We're at 89%, right? And then if you say, well, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, we actually want to retire at 62, so we'll bring that down, click Refresh, calculate that, and we're at 77%. So this is where we can go in and say, well, you know what, we were in a really aggressive portfolio. Let's just get into a growth portfolio at this point. Click Refresh. Once again, it's calculating the, the span of the retirement plan, um, when they want to retire, a lot of other factors. And what's really cool about this is all of this data that we're looking at right here, we got in through that six-step process that the client entered in or that the advisor went through with the client and, and got entered in. Now, if I click this edit button, I actually can add additional items that I want to calculate with the client or I can take certain things off if I don't want to that to be on the screen. I don't need to talk about it, right? Uh, but maybe, you know, we want to look at his long-term care, or maybe we want to look at uh, the, the legacy expense, or maybe we want to look at Tom's 529. I'll go ahead and add those. I'm going to click save. And now, as you can see, they've been added um, as levers uh, for us to play around with. All right, so here's uh, Tom's additional 529. I can propose um, additional um, funds there and see how that would affect it as well. So there's a lot of variables that you can look at very, very easily. Very, very easy conversation to have. If you want other views of this, we can look at these sub tabs. This third layer here, we can look at a confidence rating. We can look at comparisons between the two plans. And we're really big on these numbers right here. All right. And we feel like this is the language the client can understand. So if we're comparing these two plans, how much more money is one plan uh, over the life of the plan? Uh, versus the other. Uh, so really, really helpful screen. And then we can also look at different income levels. This is really helpful if you're doing uh, comparisons on annuities and things like that and trying to illustrate to the client um, how you're evening things out. Really, really helpful. The other thing that you can do is if we look at the, back at our comparisons again, you can create custom scenarios as an advisor. Now, this is more uh, kind of pro user level stuff and stuff that uh, you know, we can help you with uh, along the way. Uh, but if you want to look at what things will look like on a flat zero return or a bad decade by, uh, followed by slow growth, you can actually create your own scenarios there, which is really, really cool. The other thing you can do is a stress test. We have a unified one-page stress test. What we're going to do is we're going to take that probability uh, range, put in, go ahead and click on that, and we're going to look at the baseline, which is 87%. And then if you were sitting down with a client, you could say, you know what, what if Social Security is reduced by a certain percentage? We're going to do 10%. Go ahead and uh, click on refresh there. If we look at this middle bar, uh, which is our light blue bar here, you'll see that instead of 87% now, it's 84%. So several variables you can look at there. Social security conversation, very, very easy uh, to use tool. And what this allows you to do is compare like the full retirement age uh, to you know maybe age 62, or you can compare age 70 to age 65. There's different things that you can do there. And then once you do that, um, you also can look at that breaking point. So how how old do we need to live until until we start to see that additional money? So if we can't afford to wait until age 70, you know, what is the year uh, that we're going to start seeing that additional money? Is it 80? Is it 85? Et cetera. We can pinpoint that number for you. We can also uh, spell out, you know, what is the best route to go to obtain the max maximum Social Security benefit. We have a conversation about Medicare. We won't get too deep into this, but we can cover different enrollments and point in the right direction for different coverages. And then you can really spell out the cash flows as well, uh, which is quite popular. 
especially if you're sitting down with someone that is a, a numbers person themselves. I know most advisors are, but I know a lot of your clients are as well. They want to see a year by year uh, kind of when is this going to happen, right? So we can look at the inflows. Um, and once again, through the life of the plan, we can pinpoint uh, a specific year for that. We can look at the expenses. Uh, we can look at financial goals. So as you can see, we've got some college stuff going on here. Um, and then we've got the taxes. And we use the TCJA, the sunset at um, 2025 as the default. But you can go into the settings. You can take that sunset off or you can go back to the old tax law just to see what it looks like. Uh, you can look at the net worth year by year, vested assets. And then, of course, the different accounts, the 401ks, uh, the 529s, the HSAs, et cetera, really just comes down to what they put in through that six-step process. So that's kind of the retirement conversation there. Uh, what we'll look at next very quickly is we uh, looked at it very quickly earlier, but the dashboard is kind of a catch-all. You can see the overall balance sheet. You can set a target liquidity for the client, see how close you're getting to that. Um, you can do custom budgeting, which is really, really popular. Uh, this is really helpful if uh, you're a firm that maybe is starting to expand uh, to, you know, attracting younger clients. A lot of firms are doing this now uh, through technologies such as ours and, and also through uh, maybe subscription plans and things like that. Um, so if you're doing something like that, this is usually included in the services. So if, there's, if they're paying you $300 a month, um, you know, to, to help them budget and help them save and build up that AUM um, and to stay on track. Um, you know, they can graduate to that AUM model, you know, once they, they hit a certain point, right? We're seeing a lot more of that. Uh, if you're doing something like that, this is normally included in those services, uh, debt management as well. What's great about this conversation on the debt management is you could show them, you know, how you can get them uh, to pay off their debt a lot quicker uh, by either increasing their payments or maybe uh, doing a snowball plan or an avalanche plan. Um, but you can illustrate the whole thing. And once again, we're going to show this number here. Uh, as we compare. And then the student loan conversation, we'll take a deep dive into this, but let me just say this about the student loans. This is more than just another uh, uh, line item as far as a, a, another debt. Uh, we'll actually strategize and uh, help you determine what is in their best interest, right? If they want to pay off the debt faster, what if they work for public service, right? Maybe they qualify for uh, student loan forgiveness or maybe, you know, an income. Um, uh, you know, uh, repayment plan, something like that, income-driven repayment plan, IBR, pay-as-you-earn repay, we include all of those. What's really cool about that is if I take this off, go ahead and click refresh. So if I take this off and we look at it, uh, we're, you know, they're, they're basically, if we look at, you know, they've got 20 plus years to pay off their student loans. Well, this pr particular person works for the public sector. We've uh, identified that. We're going to go ahead and put them into a pay-as-you-earn uh, based on public service. And as you can see here, we calculate that. And look at that. I mean, save over 126000 117 of that has been forgiven. And if we look at their loan payments now, it's less than 10 years. So really, really a uh, cool tool there. Task manager is really popular. We'll continue to build this out. Basically, it allows you to set a task for the client, and uh, it'll do automatic reminders, uh, et cetera. Uh, we also have a mobile app where those reminders will come up um, as uh, pop-ups on their phone. Uh, if they have the mobile app installed, they can do that on the Google Play Store. I believe we're the only financial planning tool that has a dedicated mobile app that they can download on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. And uh, once again, it basically is an extension of the portal. The client, when they log into their portal, they're going to see everything that you, the advisor, can see. The difference is going to be you, the advisor, can say, I only want them to see these two tabs or these two subtabs. When they log in, they're only going to see what you want them to see. And that, that goes for the mobile app as well. So uh, really, really cool there. Investment, all things asset allocation. Uh, we actually have built-in plans, but you can build out your own as well. You can play around with the different allocations here. You can look at sector and style. You can look at concentration. And also see how well it's tax allocated as well. So very, very easy to use. We have insurance conversations. Uh, we do long-term care, disability, and life insurance. A lot of different variables that you can look at here. Uh, we have a dedicated page for college funding. We do estate planning as well. And this is where basically you can build out an estate plan, take a look at the details there. And then finally, tax-efficient distribution. This is what we'll end with today, and then I'll show you how we, we get that data in. Uh, but what's really, really cool about this 
is if you're sitting down with a client and I, uh, frankly, we have a lot of firms that even in the, um, you know, in the stage where they're not even a client yet, right? Uh, there may be a referral or somebody, a prospect that's come in. Uh, we have a lot of advisors that will already have this set up as an example client. And they'll basically sit down with their client and say, you know what, if you become my client, let me show you some of the services uh, that you'll be getting. And this is one of them. And the reason why we feel like this is a big differentiator is a lot of firms are, of course, spending time in those meetings, talking about accumulation, uh, getting to retirement on time, et cetera. You know, one thing that we don't see as much talk about is, you know, the actual withdrawal stage and a strategy for that. And this brings sit down with clients and say, you know what, we're going to develop a custom strategy to make sure that we're saving you the most through the dis distribution phase and that we're not spending unneeded money in taxes uh, that we don't have to. So the first way that we can do that is just by going to uh, a sequential strategy. And that's where instead of just doing everything proportionately, we do the taxable accounts, then the tax deferred, and then lastly the tax free. Doing that alone is going to save us a half a million dollars in taxes, but it doesn't stop there. We can also implement a Roth conversion um, as well. And that is this dark blue that you can see here. So we've implemented that Roth IRA. And as you can see, it's, it's coming in at just the right time, right? At retirement, right uh, at age 70 before the RMDs kick in, et cetera. So, really, really helpful tool to illustrate to clients that you're adding a ton of value, not just in the accumulation phase, but also um, you know, in, in, in withdrawal as well. So, you can do a comparison to see how much more tax free one is, one strategy is versus the other. And then you can look at the breakdown of the distribution and conversion as well. And finally, just looking at the, uh, the data entry, this is what your clients will see. It'll start out with just a couple of these um, little boxes here, and they can open them up, put in their information, click save, move on to the next step. And if we need to add any types of boxes, we can as well. Very, very easy to do. Once again, we just need all the information. And then finally, when you get down to the net worth, this is where you'll, we were talking about the slides where you can link up uh, different things, uh, whether it's your, you know, average accounts, retail, uh, you know, your aggregation, you name it. Uh, it's all right here. This is also where you can set up custom loans and uh, different investments, stock plans, things like that. Uh, so there's a lot of data, usually that uh, the advisor will put in uh, right here. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to kind of the screen that the, the advisor would see. This is where your list of clients are, so where you can add a new client. A lot of the back uh, end settings are found here as well. But uh, Jonathan, if you're still there, I think we could uh, probably open things up for q and I, I will remind everyone, if you're a current Right Capital customer and you just need some, some support help, uh, feel free to chat in uh, when you're logged in or email us, support at rightcapital.com. If you're interested in Right Capital, you can email sales at rightcapital.com or just go to rightcapital.com and schedule a demo directly there. And we're happy once again to spend 30, 45 minutes with you and then uh, normally we get set up on a two-week trial uh, so that you can kick the tires. Jonathan? Yeah, hey, uh, perfect, uh, awesome. Love, I, I still cannot get over how great that UI is. I just, it seems so like flawlessly easy to use. Um, so again, just want to reiterate some information, uh, you know, sales at rightcapital.com. If you're not already a Right Capital user, um, you, you know, take a look at it. Also, if you have any red tail questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at redtailtechnology.com or shoot us a call at 1-800-206-5030, option number three for support. But other than that, let's go ahead and open it up for some questions. Um, so if you do have any questions, feel free to go ahead and um, share them now. Let's see if we have any. Uh, so the first question comes in. Um, um, I may have missed it. Uh, does the software simulate lifetime annuity income riders? Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you, you answer that there, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. And the answer is yes. Um, what I would recommend, uh, because there's a lot of different, uh, yeah, I would say that the whole annuity conversation is, is, is a good five to 10 minute, you know, illustration where a rep can walk you through that. But I, I recommend that you go ahead and set up a demo. Definitely let them know at the beginning that uh, you want to see everything that we can do regarding annuities. Um, and they will walk you through a lot of different scenarios. There's a lot of cool things that firms are doing with this especially on that income uh, levels screen that we looked at earlier. 
Um, there, there's a lot of cool things. Uh, we actually did an entire webinar uh, in the past on uh, you know illustrating annuities inside of Right Capital. So I would highly recommend uh, that you go ahead and just set up a demo and make sure that right at the beginning of that call you let them know what you'd like to see, and uh, they'll walk you through that. Um, all right, perfect. Uh, another along the same lines, um, can you do multiple comparisons of plans? Uh, yes. Yeah. So basically, the the screen that we looked at on the retirement um, is where all the comparisons are done, um, and that's where you would go ahead and put in different variables. Um, and basically compare a proposal to your current plan. Um, so that's how we do comparisons inside of Right Capital, is you've got your current plan coming through that was listed on the right uh, on that retirement screen. And then as you are uh, just clicking on different levers and drop downs, et cetera, and saying, what if we did this or what if we did that in the plan, it'll do a comparison on the fly uh, side by side one probability percentage next to the other. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.